Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Blackwell Global's daily market update. Starting off the Aussie dollar now, and it has found a bit of support on news of a change at the top. Prime Minister Tony Abbott has been voted out of the leadership of the Liberal Party to be replaced by Malcolm Turnbull. The new Prime Minister of Australia is seen as a very right-wing pro-business leader, which is why the Aussie dollar has found a bit of support. The Aussie has recently given up the day's gains, however, as the minutes of the recent RBA meeting were released and showed they expect growth to remain weak for some time, but they do see some signs of improvement. And turning now to the yen, and it was stronger overnight despite uh, further weak economic data. The weakness in the US dollar was enough to push the yen higher despite a sharp fall in industrial production by a negative 0.8% month on month. Tertiary industry activity also fell from 0.3% to 0.2%, which will add further weight to the argument to expand stimulus. The Bank of Japan met a short time ago and decided to keep stimulus on hold, but there is speculation that they will, they will look to increase bond, the bond buying program at next month's meeting. Watch for the press conference shortly for any clues. And looking now at the Kiwi dollar and it's drifted higher over the last few days, and may continue to do so with the global dairy auction scheduled for later on tonight. The last two auctions have, have both seen strong 10% 10, 10 plus results, which could point to an end of the bear market in dairy. The Kiwi will be volatile, as will all markets, leading into the FOMC decision later on this week. And finally today, our analyst pick for the day is the AUD NZD pair. The Aussie Kiwi has been trading in a well-formed range, with the pair testing the top on the recent AUD bullishness. We believe there is plenty of scope for a fall, especially with the range holding firm on a number of occasions. We also expect the Aussie to be more affected by any downside risk resulting from a slowdown in China. That's all we have time for today. For Blackwell Global, I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.